every 20 minutes. It's your statewide Alabama weathercast. Hi, I'm meteorologist Drew McCombs with the Alabama Weather Network. So it's been a pretty busy afternoon and evening across the state, especially the northern part of the state. Looking at the radar right now across North Alabama, uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms out there, but there's been some really heavy thunderstorms in the northeastern part of the state. I even had a tornado warning several hours ago uh, into Jackson County, but severe thunderstorm warnings, some flash flood warnings, and quite a bit of action. Had a flash flood warning over in parts of of Colbert and then also Franklin counties that has since been expired. But you can see that heavy shower, that heavy thunderstorm moving off into Mississippi at this point, but still some fairly heavy lingering rain there. But we did have some reports of at least of some trees down and some, some minor damage in spots. One of our sky watchers, Lily and Muscle Shoals, reported some trees down and also a few things being blown around. Also had Michael Lee in Leesburg uh, down in Cherokee County that uh, that had some trees down uh, in his area, in his neighborhood. Uh, but again, haven't really heard of any reports of injuries or anything like that. So that is definitely good to hear. Moving down further to the south in central Alabama, again, things have started to kind of die off, at least in the uh, most of the Birmingham metro area. Still some fairly widespread rain in a lot of spots. Looks like we're starting to see a little bit of an uptick in activity down uh, into, you know, basically so southeastern Talladega County, moving over into Clay County, west of Lineville here, moving also down into Coosa County as well. So still some heavy thunderstorms out there. It's not that all of the thunderstorms are gone yet, but they should still be kind of gradually um, weakening as we move through the rest of this evening, especially tonight and, and overnight. Looking further to the south, heavy thunderstorms moving into the eastern part of, of Dallas County uh, and east of Selma, uh, and not, not a whole lot else outside of that at this point uh, in that part of the of the state as you move further to the south it's definitely been quieter in south alabama and the coastal part of alabama looks like right along the state line there in escambia county got a little cell but uh, if you look down uh, towards the coast not nearly as much happening and again we were kind of expecting that with the setup with this front kind of moving into the northern part of the state Rain totals over the past three hours have been pretty significant. I've gotten over two inches in a number of spots. You can see we have uh, 2.4 inches there near Gadsden, uh, a little bit over two inches in, in Birmingham, over close to three inches east of Russellville there in Lawrence County. And so uh, you can see that there are some of these green polygons here as well, which are still some flood advisories that are left over. And there's still, been a fl still a flash flood warning that's not quite expired yet uh, in the kind of central Birmingham area in Jefferson County. Uh, so again, there's been, uh, rain has been an issue, wind has been an issue, uh, so a very active day out there. Now looking at our SkyCam network, Florence is looking kind of back towards some of those storms that came through earlier. Saw some, again, saw some trees down in this area, uh, Muscle Shoals, like I mentioned earlier, uh, but that's now has moved away and you're kind of looking back towards where the storm uh, went down towards the south. And then as we move over to Russellville, still in the rain there, you earlier at least could see uh, through the lens here, but we've got so much rain in the area. Oh, there you go. We got some lightning right there as we took the camera there. So uh, that was uh, pretty intense. Uh, but get, the temperatures are in the 70s wherever there has been rain. Uh, some places still a little bit warmer. Looking down at Spanish Fort, again, it's been quiet down along the coast. It's, it's just a beautiful sunset there uh, looking out towards Mobile Bay from Spanish Fort. All right, so what we're watching for the rest of tonight and through the rest of this week. Storms fade tonight. Again, it may take a few hours before they really back down, and especially uh, parts of the kind of the central and southern part of the state. But storms will eventually fade as we get later in the night. Heat levels will slowly fall as we head later in the week. And then it's going to be a refreshing start to next week. Can't wait to tell you about that. So temperatures right now, again, places where there's been rain are generally in the 70s. There still are some 80s out there in places that you didn't see in many thunderstorms. 86 in Monroeville, 85 in Atmore, but 75 in Birmingham, 72 in Gadsden. High temperatures today before all the rain and thunderstorms started got pretty high. Birmingham hit 100 degrees at the airport, and that's the first time it's hit 100 so far this year. Um, and then we had... Uh, massive thunderstorms and a flash flood warning that was issued for the same area. So pretty interesting uh, day there uh, to have that happening. But a, a lot of places hit mid to upper 90s, 96 in Demopolis and 97 in Thomasville. Future cast showing that uh, we'll expect those showers and thunderstorms to, again to dissipate fairly slowly this tonight as we get later in the night. And then as we move into tomorrow, we've got more showers and thunderstorms across the southern tier of the state. There could be some isolated showers and storms up to the north, but thinking that the, the idea here is that we're going to be kind of reversed tomorrow where most of the activity is in the southern part of the state and the northern part of the state 
uh, should start to kind of dry out a little bit with this boundary moving to the south. Friday could be a similar situation. Scatter showers and thunderstorms mainly kind of in the southeastern two-thirds of the state. Not as much up towards the north as what we're expecting at this point. And the temperature outlook, again, as we move into next week, so we'll have this uh, front coming into the state, ushering in some cooler air and also at the upper level trough that comes in. So that's going to help to bring in cooler, drier continental air. And you can see basically the whole state under below or well below normal for the temperatures for next week. So uh, anytime you can see this in August, it's uh, something you definitely want to celebrate. At least, at least I do. I kind of like the weather like that. Uh, now let's take a look at our tropical update here. Hurricane Aaron still lurking off the coast here. Moving now north 14 miles per hour, has sustained winds at 110 miles an hour, and it will be kind of turning off to the northeast here in the next uh, day or so. And expected to still be a pretty potent storm, and there's going to be continue to be impacts of rip currents, all the high, heavy surf, some, some storm surge issues and things like that over the, especially the Carolinas, but also up into Virginia and further points for, further to the north. But as this peels off to the northeast and weakens, then eventually that'll kind of get that away from the east coast. Now, we'll still be watching the tropics, though, after that. Got this red area here, which is a 70% chance from the National Hurricane Center of development of this wave. Uh, but the good thing is you can see it starts to already curve even before Hurricane Aaron did. So we don't expect this one will be any issues for the U.S. The one behind it, similar thinking at this point as well. But again, it's, uh, it's well uh good ways away, so we'll continue to watch it. But over the next seven to 10 days, I think we're going to be good as far as tropical development, especially in the Gulf. All right, your seven-day forecast for North Alabama. Again, we're going to be in the low 90s the next couple of days, and, and rain chances suppress the next couple of days. Might see a little bit of an uptick over the weekend, but not a huge washout or anything expected. But look at those temperatures as we get into uh, early next week. Highs in the low 80s, lows potentially down in the upper 50s. Definitely will take that. And then South Alabama, again, it's going to be a little bit warmer, 94 degrees for tomorrow. And then the rain chance is actually on the increase over the next several days going into the weekend. But again, we back it back down a little bit. And you see those lows getting a little bit lower for the, uh, as far as the low temperatures as we get into early next week. Well, that is your evening forecast. We'll have more coming up.